If you're someone who has just started your physics journey at the university level and you're just completely lost at trying to find a book, or even if you're a senior or someone who's already graduated and you want to find a good book for a refresher course, uh, well, this video is going to be for you. Now, as a disclaimer, I think that you should find a book that suits your learning style, one that you can learn from better. Now, far too often, you always hear of students that complain about the recommended book that they need for their class. Maybe you have the word problem sets out of that book, but you always use resources outside the class as a companion for what you're doing in the class. Now, with that out of the way, the book that I highly recommend is University Physics by Friedman and Young. It's heavy, but it's not all fluff and filler with drawn out explanations. Now, this is a textbook I definitely recommend for new undergrads, but this is also a great book for upper level students who want a good refresher. This book covers all the courses that you will come across during your physics studies. Now, a reason why this is a very good physics book starting out is because it has a ton of material and it does extremely well at going in depth with most of the topics. The explanations of the concepts are good enough, but the bread and butter of this book lie in its well done figures. Many people are visual learners and they can't really just read a dry textbook all day as if it was a, a, a manual of some sort in which all it is is deriving equations. So you get a blend of both of the best of both worlds. You have some derivation, but you also have some picture diagrams to help solidify your understanding of the material. There is a generous number of thoroughly explained numerical examples, as well as well thought out problem sets at the end of each chapter. If you're using this book with Shams, you will definitely have a better time at understanding and succeeding with each of the subject matter. To highlight more on the problem sets, they are extremely useful and I really liked how they show how to work the problem out instead of just trying to sell you a separate solution manuals, just as many of the publishers try to do. Physics is supposed to be one of the simplest of the sciences but it's actually rated as one of the most complex uh, subjects up there with uh, pure mathematics. Uh, one thing that this book actually helps is that it takes that intimidation factor off whenever you're starting your university level physics. So all the math is still calculus based, you're still getting that core fundamentals that you would at any other physics course, but it also help brings the material down to a more manageable level for you to understand. Now as a reminder, this textbook isn't going to do all the work for you. Now if you really want to learn the material, you're still going to have to put in forth the effort and the time and actually practice problems. What this book will help is actually help bridge the gap between the conceptual understanding and the actual real world material. And like I said, in my later courses, I end up finding myself referring back to this book to actually relearn and understand the basic concepts because as you get further along, they expect you to know those fundamentals. Now this book can be found for a couple of hundred dollars on Amazon. I don't reckon you do that. Of course, you can get this used or you can find some older versions. This is the 13th edition, so you can always find the previous editions to find one that's more price suitable. I actually purchased this on eBay uh, used for around $60, which is actually pretty good. But when I got it, it actually looks brand new. I'm actually surprised at the condition. If this is new for around $60, yeah, I'll take, I'll take used all day. But yes, there are other ways for you to save money if you need to get a hand on this copy. Now you can probably get this version for free, wink, wink, as a PDF if you search online. Either way, I recommend everyone have this book in their physics collection. Please let me know in the comments below on any books that you recommend. Tell me if you have this book, if you read it, tell me what you thought. Definitely leave some comments for anyone else who watches the video and they can also get your opinion as well. With that, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope this video found some value for you. Uh, definitely pass this video along if you know anyone who's taken any physics courses or any other freshman or anyone else that you think could benefit from this. Until then, I hope you have a great day. Take care.